welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be reacting to my Facebook pictures, but specifically my pictures from 2009, 2010. So I've like grouped the years together because I only actually got Facebook in 2009 because that's when I started secondary school. So I got it ready for, you know, being year seven and keeping in touch with my primary school friends and being cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my pictures from 2009 and 2010, well, as many as I can and react to them because there is a lot. So I'm just gonna move like to the side a little bit so you can see the pictures. So the first picture here is me on my school trip to Boulogne in France. In year seven at my school, like the school trip you would do for like a day was to France and you get on like the Euro tunnel. And this was me on my school trip, so just a little, inside of what I looked like in 2009. So it was really hard for me to show you these pictures because they had like people in them that I didn't know if they'd want to be in it. I have blurs on their faces, but yeah, just the first one's a bit ab, they get better. So this next picture is me at my cousin's wedding. I had a right palaver because I didn't know what to wear. I just had a really bad haircut. And yeah, this was the outcome, a really, huge block fringe which I pushed to the side to try and look like a side fringe. This picture here was in December of 2009 and it's when we built the igloo. So that is me with my friend Lucy and her friend Kia there and we built the coolest igloo ever. So what we did, we rolled it like two big snowballs as in like so big that we could barely move them, put them next to each other and I carved them out. This took me like three days and you could go inside, you could sit inside and everything and they like iced over so much that we couldn't get rid of them. Like you would jump on them and it wouldn't break and it was the coolest thing ever that to, to this day is my coolest thing I've ever done in the snow build that igloo. So this was like around the same time, as you can see I'm wearing the same thing, but this is Sophie in a little sledge. We pulled her around delivering all the Christmas cards. And there's me thinking I'm really cool, posing with my purple gloves and red ski jacket. And then, yeah, this is how deep the snow was. Like, we would literally pull her around the street. Like, all oh, these pictures are so cute. So this next picture here uh, is actually New Year's Eve of 2009 into 10. So this is where we're branching into kind of 2010. I wore a top from New Look as a dress with a cami underneath and some boot shoe things and a blazer and I had one of those, you know, really cool side fringes where you brush it over and then pin it with a hair grip and that was, that was my new years of um, 2009 into 2010. So 2010 for me was the year of photo shoots. This is one of them, this is me and my sister who's based out of blood doing a bathroom photo shoot. I honestly don't think I look too much different besides the eyebrows but this was, yeah, 2010. So I was 12 here and that cami that I'm wearing there, the Primark cami is like, I wore it all the time. So this next picture again, posing photo shoot. I had the Jack Wills pajama bottoms, which was so incredibly cool. And then that Primark cami again, and some hair extensions. Even though my hair was like so long, I felt the need to wear hair extensions and scrape my hair across. Oh my gosh. Again, another photo shoot pic. I had to include this one because I just honestly thought I was so cool. And looking back on it now, it's just really embarrassing. <laughs> so like I said, Tiny 10 was the year of photo shoots for me. This being another one on the trampoline outside in the no. So here I had, I vividly remember, I'd come back from London, don't know why I've been in London, I think I've been there for like a modelling thing. I'd scraped my hair back into a ponytail, done my side fringe and I had this new Primark top on um, and then these new Primark pearls which were like the thing, like having like all your different Primark tops and Primark necklaces was like the coolest thing in 2010. Oh and my slippers of course in the snow on the trampoline. <laughs> this next picture here, oh my gosh this literally demonstrates my life. The glasses, the geek glasses from Primark that you would buy for a pound, pop the lenses out and think you were the coolest person in the world. Matching it up with your Jack Wills hoodie. I just thought I was honestly so incredibly cool. So this is my sister and her friends and then my friend Lucy and me in my sister's room. I have blurred their faces out just, you know, for privacy. But yeah, this is me with my incredibly cool side fringe, which I had now actually trained into a side fringe. Didn't need the clip anymore. I would just go ch 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 and it would be there, I had my little movement. This is what I do all day, every day. My hair would be my face, I'd do my little, and it would be back in place. This next picture here was one from a modeling portfolio. I hated this shoot, okay? I hated the fact that they encouraged me to smile with my teeth, when I hated my teeth, I've had braces since. And I hated the fact they made me stand in such awkward positions, like 
who stands like this with like their leg out? And I remember them specifically between like probably every like five shots putting more lip gloss on me and me being like, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, it's fair to say I didn't shoot with that photographer again. And I had a hair bubble on my wrist. Why did I have a hair bubble on my wrist? This though, this hairstyle is iconic. So this was my year seven hairstyle for growing my fringe out. I had a fringe cut, like I said, before my cousin's wedding, bad cut. And when my fringe got long enough to pin back, this is the hairstyle I would do. And it was where you twist it around, grab more hair, twist it around and kind of grab more hair like that. And then I'd put two hair grips in and that would be my signature hairstyle for the whole of year seven. Pretty much the whole of year eight too. That is literally how I have my hair every single day. This next picture is uh, a good memory. So at my school, oh it has the text across it. At my school in the canteen, you could like pay for like birthday parties and they would do like a meal for you, like dress the table and everything, which was quite cool looking back on it. And it was one of our friend's birthdays and they'd actually given us like ones, as you can see it's like in my hair. I had my typical twisty thing and my hair in a bun. Um, but yeah, with the cute, you know, I love you, brackets, L bracket, best friends. This next picture here is from my 13th birthday party. I remember this vividly. Oh, it was really sad. Oh, so I really like this boy. I really fancied this boy. And I really wanted him to come to my birthday party. So I had my birthday party, like, right near his house. So he would come to my birthday party. And he didn't come, and I remember being in the toilet, I was like crying. And this picture's really like, it makes me really happy because that's my sister's boyfriend in the picture. And they're still together now. And he literally made my birthday party the best party ever. Like he was dancing with all my friends. And obviously he was like three years older than all my friends. But being that we were really young, we all thought that was really cool. I think I must have been in year eight here. I think, I'm pretty sure I must have been in year eight. I'm saying, I'm saying year seven, but I think that Boulogne trip was at the end of year seven. So yeah, this, sorry, this is year eight. This is me in year eight. This next picture is a typical day out for my friends and I in the summer. So we used to go to Wixie Park. If you live anywhere near Northamptonshire, then you've probably been to Wixie Park. And it was where we go, you get wristbands for like 20 pounds and you get to go on all the rides all day. And we used to go on the pirate ship like 10 times. And then you'd like make friends with all the other people there. People would come from like all around and like, a boy would like kick a football over to you and you'd be like, oh, hi, where are you from? And like make friends. I remember I made friends with some people from Peterborough once. Like it was really random, but it was a really, really fun day out. And that is how we spent like a lot of our summer. It was a really cool day if you got like a big group of you to go to Wikis. This next picture is, <laughs> you can see how much makeup I'm wearing. Again, I had the side fringe. This is me and my friends in the school toilet. Yes, our school toilets were gross. They were green and pink. They tried to like paint them to make them pretty, but they were just disgusting. But we used to go out after school, so like, we, I don't even know how often, like once a month or so we'd go to the cinema, which was a walking, kind of like in walking distance from our school, so we'd all get changed in the toilets, and then like walk down to the cinema, and go to Pizza Hut, and this was one of them days, and this is all of us posing in the toilet. Again, with the photo shoots, these two pictures are of me and my friend Lucy. We were camping and we actually decided to go and have a photo shoot in the woods. We like found this little entrance, like this random lake that you weren't supposed to get to. And yeah, we found a, an old boat and we decided to pose with it and take a bunch of photos. And they're actually really, really cute and like really good memories. So the next and final picture is a school picture again. This one was in the summer. And you're probably like, Emily, what is this? Um, I know. So at my school, it was really, really cool to wear the tight trousers from Rev, I believe you got them from. They were like, it was either the Miss Sexy ones or the ones from Rev and with Jack Will's pants. So like Jack Will's pants were like the cool thing. And like, if you could see like the band popping up, like obviously you won't walk around with it like that, but like it, when you sat down, if you could see it, it was like cool. Uh, so this is me bending over with my Jack Will's pants. And um, I'm gonna not blur Libby's face, Libby or Tori's face here. Cause in this picture you can only see Libby and Tori's faces and they're like my best friends still. So this is Libby and Tori <laughs> pointing to mine, and I think it was Jordan, pointing to our bums. <laughs> um, yeah, that is how we spent our lunch times, taking pictures. Like, taking pictures was like a phrase. You'd be like, oh, what, do you want, what are we doing this lunch time? Oh, should we take pictures? Or do you want to go take pictures? Or do you want to come to my house after school and take pictures? It was like a thing. And then you'd upload an album onto Facebook of like all your pictures. Oh my gosh, memories. So, those are all my 2009 slash 10 Facebook photo memories. Just a chunk of them. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a thumbs up because this is like really embarrassing for me. Like, I, I, I don't even know. That was like so long ago. And I just, looking back on them, it's like such fond memories. I really, really loved 
those times. Uh, so yeah, if you did enjoy it again, please give it a thumbs up. I really do hope you like this and it gave you a bit of a giggle. And I will see you so very soon. Bye!